Hello everyone and good afternoon from Wildwood, New Jersey. Today we're here uh, on Jersey Shore and we're here to check out Moray's Piers, which is a series of three different piers, uh, three piers with amusement park rides, two piers with water parks. And I'm excited, I've not been here in a very, very long time. And they've got lots and lots of fun to check out. I go by the legend, I'm joined by my wonderful girlfriend, Molly. I've never been here. No. So we're gonna check out Moray's Piers at the end of the video. We might show off other fun that can be found here on the beach boardwalk, but uh, yeah, definitely excited to be back. We are gonna begin the tour here at the farthest north of the Moray's Piers at Surfside Pier. In the back left corner of this pier, you'll find its biggest roller coaster known as the Great Nor'easter. Now this is a Vacoma SLC, but this is a ride that they built a good 20 years ago, but they put a lot of money into it recently and they fixed it up. They retracked the entire thing. They gave it new trains and normally SLCs are not the best rides. This one is actually pretty dang fun. Um, not really any head banging, minimal roughness. It is very intense. I do think it works better in this location because it is built in and around like those water slides there and the log flume is kind of right on top of it. But uh, I don't really say this, but <laughs> that ride was a lot of fun. Now this is a ride you have to go through metal detectors for, so you can't have anything in your pockets, but they do have free lockers while you ride. So it's really not a huge deal. Newer roller coasters here at Moray's Piers is this family roller coaster here known as the Runaway Tram. Now, this is a, a pretty fun ride. Gentle for families, but it's themed to, well, the Wildwood Tram. The also famous 75-year-old tram. So much so that it has the tram on the front and the board employee on the back. And um, this is a great addition to the park. Queue area for runaway trams. They do have kind of a graveyard and memorial to the Flitzer, a ride I, I have rode in my, my previous business here, and some of the old ride guards. This is very fun. Um, Kong just spout uh, fog out of his mouth at the Kong ride, which is the park's flying scooter attraction. And this is another one where you can see, like, here at Maury's Pier, they have a very cool design. First of all, you've got on top of the thing, Kong holding the, uh, the famous Wildwood Tram. And then this ride, when they built it, is built kind of on a second level, so they can put a gift shop underneath. And not only that, this ride is kind of a throwback to a ride they had back in the 70s. And uh, that's really cool. It's a smart design. It's really cool. It's throwback to their history. All sorts of nerdy things I love in one ride. This pier has a shockingly large log flume on it. It's very long. Known as the zoom flume. You go up twice, you go down twice. And um, they're gonna come down the big drop right now. So we get the big drop. Um, there's also some theming elements involved. You can see an octopus over there, some seals. Uh, my favorite part of the theming is after drop one, you go down under the boardwalk, like they're about to go now, and it plays the song under the boardwalk. And you see like under the board, it, it's really, really cute. Now, I had fun, I was in the back seat. Molly, you were in the front seat. I got very wet because someone decided not to hold on during the drop and slammed their nose in my back. I did. And yep. I got drenched. This did it not go over well. It just scooted me up. Uh, take notes if you're going on the zoom flume. Fun ride. Hold on. Also worth noting the uh, the sign they have for the zoom flume log flume. Stop now. Uh, one of my favorite flat rides here at Moray's Piers is this one right here. Here at Moray's Piers, you can ride it. It's a uh, inverted pendulum ride. These are an absolute blast. Some of the best flat rides you'll find anywhere. This one at night has a great lighting package on it, too. And uh, you're not quite tall or old enough for it. Well, right across the way, they've got Happy Feet. 
Currently looking at Dew Whopper, which is the park's wild mouse roller coaster. And the name kind of sounds weird to me. Like they do have these really cool cars, themed like the 1950s. But I learned this on my research. Uh, Wildwood is like the doo wop capital of the world. Who knew? I, I had no, I had no idea. idea. The ride itself, it's whippy, it's fun. Uh, very solid, wild mouse style roller coasters. And I like the cars. This pier does have a haunted house called Dante's Dungeon. And honestly, it's pretty good. Yeah. Like Normally you see like a pier haunted house, you would think it would not be great, but uh, it's in very good shape. Lots of animatronics. Everything's working. Some, some stuff's pretty messed up in there. Yeah. Uh, some stuff is not. There's an animatronic bear at one point. That's fun. The lady that rips off her face, more upsetting. But hey, pretty cool ride, I give it a thumbs up. A ride I very much enjoyed when it came in the traveling fair as a child, I probably wouldn't enjoy too much now, is Stingy's X1, which is their Gravitron. If you've never been on one of these before, you kind of lay against the walls, and then as it speeds up, you go up the walls. It's, um, it's very different, very nauseating. And unfortunately closed today, one of the taller rides in the park, and that is Atmosphere, their drop tower. We'll give you a great view from the top. Good news, the drop tower did open later on in the day. You see them going slowly to the top, slowly to the top. But yeah, these, these drop towers, they don't wait to get to the top, they just go. I think probably the most adorable ride in all of Moray's Piers is this one right here, the Kanga Bounce. You ride in a kangaroo with boxing gloves on and you bounce up and down. Um, it doesn't look like much, but I have been on these rides before and they're, they're surprisingly pretty fun. Yeah, Rock and Roll is a very pretty ride. Thank you. Where uh, you go forwards, you go backwards. You ride in fun little hot rod candy cars. Faster, I gotta hear you scream! Big surprise that you would find a rock and tug on one of the Moray's Pier Board Rocks. It fits with the novel theme of the town. Daddy. On the pier, they have a very classic tilt the world. In the front of this pier, like many others, you do have a bunch of kids' rides. You got balloons, you got little motorcycles. A little kid's kind of like construction carousel. You've got a Windsor's themed to seagulls, which is awesome. Especially for here in Wildwood. Fortunately, that is not running. As well as a little kid's truck ride. The truck ride's cool. Look at that. There's a little kid's uh, mini whip themed to NASCAR. More family friendly rides. You've got this uh, jumping doom buggy thing. And then a double decker carousel. The thing I like about this carousel is there's a, uh, a horse on the very top. I will never turn down a deal at a, a theme park establishment. And here at Hatfield Hot Dogs, right in the middle of the pier, you get a hot dog for three bucks. And they have lots of toppings. I put uh, some fancy mustard, onions, and I think salsa on mine. Yeah, that'll work. We're known in the, uh, the Kong gift shop does have some insanely cheap theme park souvenirs. Like you love this great nor'easter, coffee mug, two bucks. The Surfside Pier is home to the Ocean Oasis Water Park and Beach Club. It is the larger of the two water parks at Moray's Piers, and it does have this great sign out front. Inside this water park, you'll find the Cliff Dive, which is the park's freeze fall speed slide. These slides, not really my thing. Wipeout is a six lane mat racer slide located all the way on the edge of the water park and these things, they are always a good time. Now you gotta be a stronger, decent swimmer for Shotgun Falls as this slide drops you off six feet above the water, you flail around like a fool and then plunge into a pool that's about nine feet deep. 
The Endless River is their lazy river that takes you all the way around the park, a, a water park classic and a very good time. The activity pool is this thing here, and it has a wide old school slide as well as some rope based activities. Good place for the kids to burn off some steam. Sidewinders are these short head first mat racer slides with a double down, a good time, but a very short slide. Bonsai Beach is this modern kids splash area. Rocket Raft Run are a pair of tall twisting water slides right in the middle of the water park for single or double tubes. Riptide Rapids are a pair of tube slides interwoven with the Great Nor'easter roller coaster that dumps you out into a swimming pool you can hang out in, which no joke is called the Puddle. There's a wonderful beach bar in this area called the Stubborn Brothers Beach Bar. Love the hammocks. But my absolute favorite part of this water park was Water Lily's 21 and up swim up bar. And this was just wonderful. We spent a good hour, maybe hour and a half in there, having some beverages, listening to the live music, which, and you just hang out in this giant hot tub and it's adults only, a wonderful, wonderful place. Recommend that if you're traveling without kids or just want to leave the kids for a bit. The middle pier here at Maury's Pier is known as Mariner's Pier. In this next segment, we're gonna show you all the fun that could be had at this one. The biggest roller coaster on this pier is this one right here, which is the Sea Serpent, a Bacoma Boomerang. Now, uh, this is one of the oldest Bacoma Boomerangs out there, built in 1984. Now, one good thing, it does have the newer best restraints on it, so it does not really bash your head around too much. Now, I'm not a big fan of these rides, so having the newer restraints on it kind of takes it from a a bad, painful ride to just a bad ride. You do get some cool views from the top, though. I absolutely love their Tilt-A-Whirl with a, kind of a seashell theme. Uh, kind of reminds me of the, the Little Mermaid ride at uh, Disney Park. Just went for a ride on one of the classics here at Moray's Pier. Rolly's Coaster, their, uh, their Pinfari Zyklone. And it's kind of cool because it is right on the beach and near the water park, but I don't know why this has over-the-shoulder restraints. Not many of these have over-the-shoulder restraints. And there were a couple turns where it was very painful. The park's swinging ship is called Rip Time. We're right over near the big Ferris wheel. This is themed as like a, kind of like a big uh, uh, rescue boat or something. For the best view of Wildwood and Maury's Pierce, I feel like you've got to go up on top of the giant wheel. And here we go on a full rotation on the giant wheel. It is going to get breezy up here, but uh, it is quite the view. Also, this Ferris wheel moves far faster than I was expecting. You can see the, the sea serpent over here getting ready to get dropped backwards. It's so windy! It is. Water park. The other pier, the wood coaster. And all of the wind. Classic Board Rock Pier Park has a classic flat ride like the Music Express. In the back of this pier, they have two different monorails. There is a seagull monorail where you pedal above the track, and a galleon monorail where you hang below the track. And they both board right over here next to the Ferris wheel. And here is the view from our monorail ride. We're on the, uh, the suspended pirate ship one. It does go around the water park, which we'll show off in more detail a little bit later. I do love the design of Moray's Pier. So you can see like this ride was designed with the other monorail in mind, and then to interweave with all of the water slides. And then also from the monorail, you get views of like the other piers, you get views of the beach and of the water park and of the pig dog beach bar. Not sure if we'll have time for that, but uh, while it is in the water park area, you can get the, actually get to that without having any sort of uh, ticket and just hang out on the beach area and uh, enjoy some beverages. But I'm quite enjoying our ride here on this monorail. Also, when you're on the pirate shippy one, you don't have to pedal like if you're on the seagull one. Like these people on the seagull monorail. 
huffing and puffing. Here's a look at that, uh, the pig dog beach bar, which apparently you can bring your dog to. That's fun. You have cornhole, a big bar, sand, hammocks. A very relaxing time. Yeah. When talking about the swinging ship, I can't help but mention, like, I love the lifeguardy seagull dude on the front. That is fantastic. In the front section of the Mariner's Pier, you do get the kids' rides area. I'm just gonna take a kind of a walk through there right now. See little cars, little planes. The Wild Wizard, which is one of the newer roller coasters here on Moray's Pier, that is the SBF Visa spinning coaster. And while these are kind of a kids' ride, they're still pretty fun. See them going through the uh, smiling octopus and shark right now. Over here on the left, you got a two-story carousel. I oh. love two-story two carousels. And lots of midway games, of course. You know, that's a very interesting-looking Dumbo-style spinning ride. It looks like the Dumbo ride where you kind of control it to go up and down, but you definitely don't. Then you've also got a little, 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 little kid's swing ride. As well as a little kid's balloon ferris wheel. I guess pretty much anybody can go on that balloon ferris wheel. Pretty gentle kite flyer kid's ride where you could ride laying down. Underneath the cobra roll of the sea serpent roller coaster, we got theme park classic, the teacups. They seem like they go very, very fast. Also, while in the same family rides area, there's a couple other rides. There's this one here where the kids pull them up, self up on like a string. And then what might be the most adorable ride here at the Mariners area, little tiny boats. Look at these adorable little boats. I do like the crazy bus they have here at Moray's Piers, as there's like a pirate ship behind it with like a smiley face. Observer. Yeah, it's also in a, a very smart location in between the Music Express and the Dark Ride. Here at Moray's, I think the most famous snack is Curly's Fries, which as it was established in 1974. Now Molly is standing behind a giant Curly's French fry. We got the regular size and got them with uh, Cuban seasoning on them. So very much enjoy the hallway where it's not the fry meeting place, it's a fry eating place here on the Mariner's Pier. One thing I think is really cool that right by the entrance to the water park, they have a big bike rack. That's really nice. Unfortunately not operating during our visit is this building here, home to Ghost Ship, which is the park's haunted house, a walkthrough haunt. And uh, this is also not operating when we were over here on a Sunday night, so I'm not sure how much it operates anymore. Maybe it's, you know, kind of reserved for just the haunt season nowadays. But man, the facade is pretty awesome looking. As a dork, plus and an environmentally friendly human being, I love the recycle bins they have here at Moray's Piers. I mean, normally I would listen to any seagull wearing a hat, but definitely this one. Love some of the detail here at Moray's Piers, like these theme benches and uh, parts that definitely look like they came off of, like an old swing ride or carousel. There's a couple of rides closed on this pier today. One of them is Moby Dick, which does have the uh, all the test dummies on it. I do like the little sailors that would go round and round on the opposite side of the ride vehicle. I also like that the test dummies very much have like the crash it's test dummy logo on their faces. And that one, that one taped over his mouth. Also closed today is the swing ride. But I love the design of the swing ride as it is above, like whenever they built this new version of the swings, they built it above on a second level so that it's easier for people to pass underneath and they can put seats underneath. Underneath the Sea Serpent Roller Coaster, they do have a Moray's Pier gift shop. That's a uh, pretty nice merchandise. This one I thought was uh, quite the t-shirt indeed. 
Wait. Well, that, that's a shirt. And that, uh, some of these are actually really nice. Like, that's a, a pretty cool design. That's a very cool design. I like those. That's very neat. From this scenic location underneath the boomerang. Hey Molly, what time is it? Beer 30. Beer 30 indeed. We're here at Wilhelm's Beer Garden, a German beer garden. Um, and it's pretty nice. I really like their, their selection. They have food here. They also have like local craft beer. Now, with this being a German beer garden, they had one of my favorite German beers on draft, so I had to get the uh, the Hofbrau Hefeweizen. You love this. Prices are not insane for a, a theme park either. 24 ounce imported beer, $10.50. Not too bad. As you would expect, a classic boardwalk beer has the bumper car ride. I love how they make it look old timey in the, uh, the background. Uh, there's a dog having a wee in the middle. And then I really like when parks do this. Right next to the adult bumper car as well, they have a kids bumper car ride. And all kids bumper car rides, well, they're adorable. This one, no exception, you ride in like, I think little cats or mouses. And it's just so cute. And Maury's Piers, much like a lot of boardwalk parks, really comes alive in the evening. The lighting package on their Ferris wheel, just top notch. Look at that. That is that is so very cool. And then not a very modern lighting package, but uh, on the wooden roller coaster, a very traditional looking lighting package on that one. The lighting package on the bumper cars at night, also fantastic. Now we did have to return to this pier later on in the evening because uh, I'm a big dark ride guy and the Pirates of Wildwood 3G Journey dark ride was not operating earlier but we walked back later in the evening and it was operating and it's a very interesting ride. Um, very much uses like a 3D like blacklight painting. It reminds me a lot of uh, Kenny Wood's uh, The old uh, Garfield ride. Yep. Yeah. It was probably done by the same people. I would, yeah, I would, probably. I would totally guess that. Um, not much pirates involved, but probably more fun. A lot of Wildwood involved. Yes. The tram car, Curly's fries, Max Pizza, the whole kind of thing. It was really fun. You know, uh, definitely one I would recommend checking out. The Mariner's Pier is also home to a water park. This one is called Raging Waters. All the way at the end of the water park, you will find the two body slides. These are the serpentine body slides, and they are definitely a little bit older. Right next to those are a pair of tube slides called Rocket Raft Run, and this is for single tubes only. The most interesting water slide at this park is definitely Sky Pod Journeys, which is a wonderful long slide experience. You can go down four different mini slides in a tube, splashing down into four different elevated pools. A little bit old school, but really fun. Interwoven that, you'll find the speed slides, which are some headfirst mat racer slides that are just wild. You go really, really fast on these things. I went on it twice, really awesome, but a lot of stairs to get up there. River Adventure is their surprisingly long lazy river for what is not a very large water park, and it does have some thematic elements in it. The activity pool as well, it's just a swimming pool with that one small slide you can see, and it is also attached to the deep water shotgun falls, but in addition to the Shotgun Falls, this water park also has a rope swing, and either one of these two attractions are wonderful for people watching. Camp Catastrophe and Shipwreck Shoals are the two kids' areas all the way in the back of the water park, and these do both have a much more modern feel than the rest of the water park, and probably a better kids' area than at the first water park. And last, we made it to Adventure Pier, which is the farthest south of all the Moray Piers, and probably the one with the least amount of interesting because... We took the tram car! Yeah, we did take the tram car, but you should watch the tram car, please. But uh, this one, there's not as many things that are included with your wristband. So you're going to have like the skyscraper, which is an awesome ride, not included with the wristband. You're going to have the slingshot, which is not included with the wristband. But you, you do have the park's wooden roller coaster, the Great White, and that is included, and that's what we're heading to now. We just got off a night ride here on the Great White, the park's wooden roller coaster. And first of all, the lighting package on this, magnificent. Like, you're a wooden roller coaster on the beach and you look fantastic. Um, I thought it was running pretty good. Yeah. 
You know, I, I wouldn't say it's like anywhere near one of the best wind roller coasters to ride. You know, a, a couple of airtime moments, but you know, it, it's you know, it won't make anybody's top ten list of wind roller coasters. But the setting, and I love like once you come out of the station, you immediately dive pretty steeply underneath the boardwalk until you come off the lift. And uh, the ride runs really, really fast, completely till the end. Yeah, it, it gets a thumbs up from me. Yeah, I liked it. Uh, better than some of the wooden coasters we have ridden on this trip. Probably one of the better wooden roller coasters we've ridden on this trip. We have not ridden many good wooden roller coasters. This might be the best, actually. Yeah. It's probably the best. They do have an SNS Scream and Swing, which is included with wristbands and things like that. But unfortunately, it's currently down for maintenance. It'll probably be really fun. Another upcharge attraction is Sky Coaster, but that is also closed. Some fun midway games over here. You do have the three point challenge. Like if you're at NBA, uh, NBA weekend. And then this one is interesting where you get a soccer challenge and you get 12 kicks in 30 seconds. Of course, we couldn't come to Wildwood and not just talk about it more. We gotta show up a little bit of the other fun that can be found here in town. And right across from the Mariner's Pier is Splash Zone, another water park. Now this is not owned by Moray's. This is actually some other company. But I will say, good thing about this, you could buy tickets in advance on their website and you could get in for a few hours for as low as like $25, which that's a, that's a pretty good deal. And now uh, the water park looks solid. It looks, you know, pretty much the size of the, either one of the, the Moray's ones. Probably the most famous thing here in Moray's and at Wildwood is the tram car. Running from one end of the tram to the other, five bucks for a ride, and uh, here in the rain, well, it tells you very politely to watch the cram car, please. And there's something here that's very Jersey Shore. Well, you get paintball, and you get to try and shoot that man. You gotta hide, and now not hide is just blasting his paintball. <laughs> Now, I have probably not been to Wildwood, New Jersey in a good 20 years or so, but I do remember where this 3D mini golf was. And you can see the sign still on the wall. This used to be a Sally Dark ride in this spot. Right on the boardwalk is also the Seaport Aquarium. And right here on the boardwalk, you can see tortoises. Oh, tortoises are so cool. I do love coming to beach boardwalks and seeing things like this, like Douglas Fudge, which has been here for over a hundred years. How cool is that? This is definitely a little bit different for a beach boardwalk, but a food we love. There's a pierogi place, and you can get like five different pierogies. You get like potato, potato and cheddar, potato jalapeno cheddar, one with bacon in it. I'm excited for this. Here in Wildwood, they don't have a uh, a traditional Ripley's, but they do have a Ripley's kind of uh, entertainment maze along with a Time Freak and Laser Vault. I am I'm a, more of an auditorium guy myself, so I'm going to go next door to Captain Jack's Island Grill because it's Monday, and well, that means it's Margarita Monday with $5 classic margaritas. And now, of course, here in Wildwood, on the boardwalk, they've got all sorts of food and attractions besides just Moray's Pier. And uh, this one, Molly, I couldn't pass it up. Here it's something called Hot Shot, where they had mozzarella stick pizza. Right across from the, the northernmost pier is a, um, an arcade that has nothing but 25 cent cranes. Gotta play here, right? Couldn't pass up some, uh, some boardwalk ice cream. And here at Cool Brothers, there's a, a mint chocolate swirl. Absolutely. We are making our way along, but uh, this is fascinating. One of the gift shops sells a talking toy tram car. Much like how like Disney World would sell like the buses or uh, the monorails. Same idea, but for Wildwood, New Jersey. Tots. And that'll do it for our time here in Wildwood and at Moray's Piers. I had a wonderful, wonderful time. A couple things to note. The hours, if you come during the week, they're a little weird. The two water parks opened at 10 a.m. 
the middle pier, the Mariner's Pier for the rides opened at 1 p.m. And the two piers on the far sides, the Surfside and the Adventure, those open for rides at 5 p.m. Also, when you're talking about important things, it is a very expensive experience, Moray's Piers. Our ticket, which included one day at the water park and one day at the amusement park, you could use them on the same day, you could use them on different days. That ticket was $115 a person. Uh, making Moray's Piers possibly the most expensive amusement park in the country outside of like Disney and Universal. Yeah. And it is crazy. definitely not on that quality. I had a lot of fun. I don't know if I had $115 worth of fun. Now you can buy tickets if you want to do just individual rides, but those prices again, for some of the big roller coasters, you're going to be paying $10 to $15 a ride. Mm -hmm. uh, Molly, did you have a favorite ride or experience we did here at Maury's Piers in Wildwood? I think the runaway tram was my favorite. Ride. It was pretty adorable. That tram <laughs> train, that was awesome. Yeah, uh, for me, I did like their two biggest roller coasters. I like the wood coaster and I like the uh, the nor'easter. The wood coaster was running really well. It was, but I think my favorite experience might have been the swim up bar, the 21 and up swim up bar with the live musician in that water park. That was that was wonderful. And just loved walking the beach boardwalk as well. We tried uh, four different slices of pizza. We did. Super fun ice cream, all sorts of food. Uh, love, love the Sam's Pizza. I think that was our favorite out of all the mm -hmm. slices we had, but it was all good. All right, if you have any questions about Wildwood or Maury's Pierce, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you very much for watching this video.